Hey everyone, this is Hector with Torque Junkies. Uh, this video I'm going to be going and showing my first video actually of my Mach 7 Golf GTI. Uh, this video is basically going to be explaining my five favorite things that I love about my car. So let's go on it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually the looks of the vehicle. I actually have had three GTIs, a Mach 5, a Mach 6, and a Mach 7, which is this one right now. Uh, at first, I really didn't like the shape of the GTI. I thought it looked like an egg. Uh, but you know, now that I've had it for you know over almost 10 years, actually, I've really learned to love the looks of the GTI. You know, I really like that they stay with the same kind of shape. You know, it's that VW Auto Group design where it's like you know oh, you see Porsches, the same classic styling that don't really change that much over the years. It's just more of a, a re it's not really a redesign. It's really just a refinement of the vehicle. Or if you look at other cars that are in the Volkswagen Group that also the same thing. They have the same basic look, they've just kind of sharpened it a little bit every year. That's what I love about the car. So it really just, it doesn't look outdated and I feel like it's gonna look good for a long time. For example. For example, the red calipers on the GTI with the 18 inch wheels really make the car look very sporty. Then you have these dual exhaust pipes, which really tells you this isn't your ordinary Golf. Then you have that front fascia with the aggressive grille and the red line which tells you it's a GTI. So the second thing that I love about this vehicle is really the interior. I mean if you look at it, it really just looks awesome. Stepping into the GTI, you really start to feel like you're not in a GTI but in, like I said, an Audi. You have this really great quality. Everything you touch just feels premium. You have this creative gear shifter that reminds you that you're in a Golf. And with a flat bottom steering wheel, it really makes you feel like you're ready for the racetrack. Vroom vroom! I mean, it certainly does have a lot of polished aluminum. Polished aluminum. Polished aluminum. Polished aluminum. Oh look, it's more polished aluminum. God, really? More polished aluminum? Whew. The third thing that I love best about this vehicle is actually the space. I love how spacious the car is, as I will show you right now. <laughs> oh God, this is a bad idea. Fit like I mean I don't know like two rhinoceros back here or like two dead bodies 50 pizzas I like pizza I love pizza <laughs> or like a crap load of firework I mean look at all the space The fourth thing that I love most about this car though is also just quality. I mean quality, quality, quality. You're getting a brand that owns Audi, Porsche, Lamborghini, Bugatti, for God's sakes, Bentley. You know, they used to own Rolls Royce. I mean, that, that is a huge amount of cars. Porsche! So it closes real hard, I mean, slam, slam the door shut. I can sit in the freaking door. And so my fifth uh, thing, which is my last, certainly not least favorite though, is the way the car drives. This car has about 220 horsepower because it is the performance pack edition and also has 258 pound feet of torque, which means you get a lot of torque for the amount of horsepower you're getting. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, and also you get all of that at 1500 RPMs. So that's pretty impressive, the fact that Volkswagen give that much power with a turbocharged vehicle that early on, all the way to 4,500 RPMs. So really, that's one of the reasons why I love it is because I, my, as a daily driver, it's awesome. It might be, not be the best track car. However, as a daily driver, it's awesome because I don't go past 4,500 RPMs. Oh, it drives awesome. Also, the handling, it is a bit numb, I have to say, 
but it does drive really, really well. I really like the way the car drives. I mean, even though it is a little numb, it is very responsive. It's not like something where it's like sluggish or anything. It definitely steers well. It just doesn't, not a lot of feeling attached to it. Um, but the torque, it, it feels like it has more power than it does. And I know that, I mean, I have a GTI, I should have a GTI hat on, so obviously I'm a little biased, but however, it doesn't feel like 220 horsepower, you know, and I know that it has higher torque numbers, but aside from that, it just feels like a car that has more power than 220 horsepower. Really, really cool. Let's see. Yeah, she's fast. Woo! Well, all right, guys. Well, that concludes my video. I really appreciate anybody who watched this video uh, and even everybody who watched the video. If you like this video, I would uh, ask that you would subscribe to the video. Uh, it's right down under the uh, video. You'll see where it can subscribe. And it's going to be on, even though this is the first video, every Friday after this one, I'm going to be posting a new video. Next week's going to be the five things I hate about my GTI. And uh, I will see you guys then. Thank you. Take off.